I'll put you in a nice little. Mm -hmm. It's an iconic Atlanta hotel that's been featured in the Hunger Games and Spider-Man films, but the buzz you hear coming from the Atlanta Marriott Marquis has nothing to do with movie stars. Yeah, right now, some hardworking employees up on the roof are sweetening the stay for a hotel guests, and then there's one guy who's not working that hard because he never does, but he's up there as well, and he got to put on like a, you know, costume or something. Oh Is this Halloween? Goodness. What's going on, Paul? <laughs> Don't get stung. Oh. Hey, it was hard work getting this suit mm -hmm. on, Buck. All right, yeah. there's a lot of zippers and stuff around here. That was my hard work for the morning. You know, I have been testing a theory this morning, Buck. So I have a picture of you, which yeah. I've smeared with honey. Right. And I've been putting it in front of the bees, trying to train them to go straight for your face. So we're going to see if <laughs> later on back at the station that they told me I could take a few of these back and we're going to see if uh, if they remember your face and go straight okay. for you. Yeah, this is the perfect spot to be. Let me tell you, it is beautiful up here. We're at the Atlanta Marriott Marquis. You would never know it standing up here with this beautiful herb garden and the beehives here. But all of this stuff that you see behind me here, this all is being used by the hotel's culinary team. And it's a really neat program led by the director of food and beverage, Alexander. Great to see you. How are you? Great. How are you? Good morning. Well, I love that we're suited up and ready, and you are so tough, you're not even going to wear the bee suit. You feel safe. You right? look a little funny in those suits. So. Uh, thank you for making fun of me. Our anchors will appreciate that at the station. Alexander, tell me where we are right now. What What is this area of the hotel? We are right next to the atrium ballroom, okay. which is right next to the hotel, about three floors up, and that's where we have our honeybees and our herb garden. Yeah, so when did you get the honeybees here, and why did you decide to do this? About three years ago, uh, I heard about the shortage of honeybees yeah. in, in the United States, and that's what inspired me to bring honeybees to the Atlanta Merritt Marquis, and then also integrating them into the menus and mm -hmm. our, you know, culinary team, putting them into honey honey key lime dressing and making yeah. flatbreads with honey on them, and it's uh, it's just great to have 40,000 bees working for you. It's hard to believe there are 40,000 bees up here. Who primarily takes care of the bees? Who does most of the beekeeping here? Uh, it's myself starting out and our executive chef and some of our other chefs out of the restaurants. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about what you use the honey for. So you cultivate the honey up here. As you mentioned before, it's used in a variety of products here at the hotel. We're taking about 40, 50 pounds of honey out every time we're harvesting wow. honey. And we're putting in our key lime honey dressing. We're putting in our um, heirloom tomato flatbreads with figs on it. We're putting, we're making it in our parfaits. We're putting it in many, many, about probably about 15 to 20 wow. dishes. Wow, and, and don't worry, Buck and Sharon, I'll be eating all those things in the next hour. <laughs> I don't worry. want you to Thank worry you. about yeah. me that I'm not going to get fed American this morning. Sir. We'll be doing plenty of taste testing in the 9 o'clock hour. Now, there's also the herb garden up here. Same thing, do you use the herbs in your dishes here? We use our herbs in our restaurant and uh, to create our dishes. And yeah. uh, a lot of these herbs are uh, throughout the year, we're just changing them out and replanting them. And yeah, yeah we're using them all in our dishes. It's really fantastic and so neat. And again, such a beautiful spot. You told me something really interesting before. You said depending on the time of year and what's in bloom, you know, they're they're pollinating different plants and, and the color and the kinds of honey is constantly changing. Is that right? That's correct. Uh, these, what I learned is that these bees travel about four to five miles away from here and come back. And then they bring about three to four different pollens uh, back. So when they come down and flying right back in into the landing right there, yeah. you can see the different pollens. You can see a yellow, a gray. You can see different colors of wow. pollen that's mixing, mixing together and making the honey tastes wonderful. It is fascinating. I bet you've learned so much doing this over the past few years. Sure did, and I've never got stung. No, you have not yet. Don't jinx yourself, yeah. sir. This is live <laughs> television. I said before, you know what's going to happen is that we're going to be the two that get stung today in our suits, whereas you and Blaze behind the camera with no suit on, you'll be totally fine. Alexander, thank you so much. Absolutely. It was great to see you this morning. It's great to be up here. Um, I think I've done my work, and I'm ready mm -hmm. to eat. So coming up in the next hour, we'll be downstairs in the restaurant, trying out some of the dishes made with the honey from these nice. bees. We'll hey, see you there. Hey, Paul, will you tell Alexander that I said if he thinks you look funny yeah. and that, he ought to see you in your normal get up. <laughs> Just, you know what? I was going to bring you back some beautiful honey oh, layers, bring back oh, cream, for me. And desserts, and dressings. And now I'm not going to. You oh, just no. ruined it, sir. Don't you throw me in the briar patch, Paul Milligan. But Don't you can bring me back something, patch. Paul. Don't you worry about a thing. Bring me right. something back. You already know the Halloween sure. traditions like dressing up, collecting candy, and carving pumpkins. But do you know how that all started or how they've changed over the years? Paul's going to take us to the Douglas County Museum of History and Art for a new exhibit with all of the answers. Stay what's, with us. What's he going to dress up with that? Well, I wonder how he's mm. going to dress up.